Hey guys, it's Gigi. So I know I've spent my fair time in the closet and I am so happy to be out of it. But for today's video, we're gonna go back in. So come and see what I have going on in my closet. spent so much time collecting so many special, valuable, memorable items. And I have them laid out here and I have these like fabulous like wig wall moments going on that these I got from Amazon. A lot of my closet is very, very old. So although it may seem like I have a lot of sh it is consumed over 10 years. I mean, if you guys remember like 10 years ago in my bedroom in my parents' house, I had a bag tree with like all of my handbags, my Balenciagas, my Michael Kors, my coach bags. And a lot of those items have made it to the house I'm living in right now. So this is a lot of shit going on, but it is so many memories. It's so valuable to me. So a lot of my closet is not ready. So I just thought I'd show you this little portion that is ready and share some memories along the way. All right, so I went from bag tree to bag wall and I'm so obsessed with it. These are my favorite bags. These are the bags that I go to just to see them all, just to make sure I can like, you know, coordinate an outfit or, I mean, even today I saw bags. I was like, bitch, I forgot about her. From the top working down, I have a couple of my husband's designs. That's a Gucci duffel bag, which actually is his, but I just put it on my wall. A Fendi bag, which he has strike oiled. In the middle is a little, Louboutin bag, I got at a sample sale. These three Fendi's, super cute, very like business. Like she's going to a meeting. My laptop can probably fit in here. It's a little, you know, monochrome moment. Like I said, these are collections from over time, but all four of these Birkin babies are pretty new to me. I never thought that I would own a Birkin. It's crazy that I have four. Like I have to pinch myself and I also need to punch myself because I need to take better care of them. As you'll see throughout the course of this video, all of my shoes, my bags, my wigs, everything I own is very lived in. Like I don't prance around in my shoes. I like run bitch. Club, another club, another club. Plain. A lot of these things are scuffed up. Like you see this red Birkin, this white one has been refurbished once, but she is hurting a little bit, but she's mine. This is a very me bag and there's never gonna be anyone that to own this bag again. So if it has a couple scuffs on it, f it, you know, like whatever, they're my scuffs. This next shelf is kind of just like a cluster f of stuff. These are two Balmain purses, which I'm obsessed with. This one has the hardware here. This one doesn't. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Sometimes it happens. Oh my God, was there a wig here before? Is it, oh, it's the one on my head. <laughs> I genuinely forgot. Oh my God, gag. Okay, that's embarrassing. Talk about sentimental. So if you guys know my story, you know I see my mother through ladybugs and my husband got me this Judith Lieber ladybug bag and it is so cute. It is so small, like obviously my phone wouldn't fit in this, but maybe a compact and like lipstick would, but I love this so much. This is a bag I've always wanted. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. I just love that I own this now. This is something that I would like Google and I would see other people wearing and be like, oh, I want that. I want that in any color, but I just got it. And when it came, it was just such a moment. And I just love, 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 love this bag. All right, moving down. I'm actually just gonna skip to the bottom because this is super nostalgic for me. This is the Balenciaga shelf. When I grew up in Canada, you couldn't tell me that Balenciaga was not the only brand of life. My first Balenciaga was silver, but it was stolen. So this I claim as my first Balenciaga. So she is floppy, she is carefree. There's the big original thumbnails. I just love it. I used to travel to LA and be like, 
like in this mirror, you could not tell me anything. You still can't tell me anything. Like these will never go out of my collection. I wanna give this to my daughter or my child one day and just watch them carry it. Although it'll probably be in way worse shape than it already is now. But I would see like Lauren Conrad or Stephanie Pratt from the Hills, like just walking up to a lunch with them. And I was like, that is the ideal femininity. Femininity? Femininity. Anyways, moving on. So these are some clutches. Obviously a fan of Saint Laurent. This is one of my favorite clutches that has seen so many nights. This also was a gift from my mother-in-law. It was one of the first gifts that she gave me and I just thought that it was so cute and feminine and little like, ooh, honey, oh, just the phone my lipstick in. Not a care in the world. Oh, she also got me this one which is very loved, as it says on the thing. This has gone around the world with me, but this one also is just so timeless and so beautiful. I definitely need to get this restored because it's falling apart, but. I hope like no one from like Gucci or anyone that works there sees this and is like, when they see me walking in, they're like, bitch, keep her away from our merchandise. This is one of my newest purchases. This is the Bottega Veneta. I don't know what it's called actually. Is it like the Venus flytrap bag? So it's like the girl on the go. Like I would see this like at an airport or something or at like a bougie lunch. So yeah, these are my purses. Okay, so we just finished the bag wall, but I thought before we move on to wigs and shoes, we could thank the sponsor for today's video. <laughs> it's Fat Fit Fun. <laughs> So FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box. I just got my summer one in and you get full size products for a fraction of the price if you bought them alone. First up, Liquid IV. This is great for mega hydration. I've used this when I've been hungover. Next up, this is the Erno Laszlo Exfoliate and Detox Pore Cleansing Clay Mask. I got the Skin & Co Whipped Cleansing Cream. Society 6 Wine Chiller. Oh my God, it's like already cold. Is that weird? Cork Cycle? Silicone Straw? Oh, another Cork Cycle gift. This is, oh my God. Are they wanting me to get drunk? It's a little roadie thing. So, oh my God, this, which I'm really excited about. This is a traveling jewelry case. I got the Flight Mode Skincare High Altitude Hydration Mask, which is nice. I'm gonna be flying to Canada pretty soon, so that's exciting. And then last but not least, I got the Sensuals Facial Serum Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Moment. Okay, so all of the details will be down below in the description box along with my coupon code just for you guys. So get into it for your seasonal FabFitFun box. So moving on to wigs. This is really exciting because my wigs used to be stored in literally like plastic bins. If you can look over there, that is just some of them. And I would go to stores, they have them all like you know, showcase so beautifully. So I was like, let me just try to do that. So I Amazoned wig heads and these bad boys came up and I was like, I think my life is gonna be changed. And they showed up and bitch, they are everything. Like you can see how a wig's gonna be looked. You see when she needs to be restyled. You see when the lace needs to be cleaned. Very nasty. I just live for this. So these are my favorite wigs. I mean, a couple of them I've never worn. This is Got Mix. It's just cute up here just to add a little green flare. This is my little Veneno wig. This wig I tried to cut bangs into. Horrible. My light brown wig, which is gorge right now. The lace, like what lace? This is from my friend Ava Laurent. She does amazing, super thick human hair wigs. I always get asked, where do you get your wigs? And I really only get them from like two or three places, like Freedom Couture, What Wigs, and my friend Zach Killian, who's in LA. I gave him like these tracks that my friend sent me, and I was like, is there any way you could like sew in? And look at what he did. All of these stitches are the tracks I gave him. It's so heavy, it's so thick. One of my drag queen friends from the UK came over and he was like, this is the thickest wig I've ever had on. And that's coming from a drag queen. So like, you know he gets it done, but it just looks so good and so like healthy and shiny. So obsessed. Yeah, I was using like foam heads, as you can see, RIP. Just like my bags, everything is on display. I feel like if it's not on display, you're not gonna use it. So. 
moving on to shoes. Flipped around, this is like a 180 view. These are the shoes that I have out. Like I said at the beginning of this video, she goes hard in her shoes. So a lot of my shoes are beat up, just like you can see here. Like this is past the nail. Sorry, Philip Klein, but how gorgeous are they from the front though? <laughs> Imagine, I'm like, oh no, it's not me, it's termites. <laughs> I am a huge fan of Louboutin. Um, I, my first pair of shoes from them are actually these. I'm a size 40, if anyone is wanting to gift me anything. These are the Louboutin Pigals. I'm totally obsessed with this shape. They're comfortable, they're easy. These are also kind of like the elevated version of the Pigals. These are the little open toe, just so classic, just extend the leg. I'm obsessed. You just can't take the old school platform high Louboutin style away from me. Oh, these are my Saint Laurent shoes that I got for my birthday. If you can see the amount of damage I've done on them from one night, if you wanna have fun and just go for it, then do it and just get it repaired later. These my mother-in-law gave to me. These are also Louboutin. Am I just talking about Louboutin? No. These little Swarovski Louboutins, these are a 39 and a half, and I'm surprised I even fit into these. Doesn't this look like Cinderella's slipper? Like, oh. Very like, when I live my fantasy, I'm like, ooh, I'm like the littlest girl in the entire world. And I have these also in a little blue shade. These Giuseppe's are actually the first shoes I wore after I got married. There's like a little fish on them that goes up your foot. Very cute, very dainty, very flattering. I think you might be done with this portion of my closet. I mean, the rest is a mess, so I won't even bring you in, but I'm very happy about this little portion and all of the memory it holds. I am very excited to see if you guys wanna see the rest of my closet, the organizational process. There's gonna be a lot of work that needs to be done between Nats and I. Like I said, thank you FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. Everything will be linked down below, and until I see you guys in my next video, stay gorgeous. Now get out of my closet. <laughs>